So there are five things that you're actually supposed to do if you want YouTube to recommend your videos. And I've done a lot of videos about that. But the only video that I've not done is showing you directly how to put your end screen, your cards, and every other stuff, okay? So if YouTube stops recommending your videos, or YouTube is automatically not recommending your videos, or you feel like your videos are not getting those attention that you need to get, this video can actually help you. And in today's video, I'm going to make sure I am doing it with my Android phone, so that you can also see what I am doing and how you can also do yours. Once you upload your videos on YouTube, there are certain things that you are supposed to do to enable your videos to be popped out there. And some of those things include putting your end screen, putting your cards, and every other stuff that I've already talked about. But in today's main focus, I'm going to be focusing more on putting your end screen and your cards. So these two things can actually help YouTube pop out your videos out there. For those ones that I don't that don't know, end screen is those videos that YouTube actually recommends you at the end of someone's video. Take for example, if you watch this particular video to the end, you're going to be seeing my end screen that YouTube is actually recommending for you. And a lot of people have been able to click from my end screen to watch more of my videos. And that will actually give YouTube the edge to be able to like recommend my videos to more people. Then cards are those things that point out other videos that people have that you don't have idea about then for example if i'm putting a card here or here you are going to be seeing them and youtube will be recommending those cards for you depending on the minutes i'll be able to fix those cards and then you are going to click and watch and another good part i love about cards is if you check in the description as well you're going to be seeing all the whole cards that have been attached in a particular video so if that person did not even click from the upside that youtube is actually showing them that person can actually still check the description box and then check out your videos because of that cuts, okay? Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It's Vibe with Sonia, and I'm back again with another mind-blowing video. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are fine. Hope you guys are good. If this is the first time tuning in, do what to subscribe. Like this video, drop me your comments, and lastly, do not forget to share for every other person to get this good news. And yes, with all of that being said, let me start my screen record. So my screen record is all started. And just note that you cannot use the normal YT Studio to get this. You can also only use your um, desktop version. So since we are having phone, I'm going to be using my desktop version using my Android phone. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to type what YouTube youtube um dot um creator studio you can see it here which is studio.youtube.com so if you see the youtube.studio.com exactly what is popping up here you're going to click on it and once you click on it you're going to wait for it to load once it's loaded this is exactly the interface that you're going to be seeing so it's going to show you continue to studio or get the app so if you click on get the app it is just a normal youtube studio app so you don't need to click on get the app just click on continue to studio and once you click on continue to studio it is going to open this is loaded this is exactly what you are going to be seeing which is the interface of your youtube so which of the videos that you have uploaded even if you've uploaded before or you just uploaded or you schedule or you unlist and you have not published or you've published the next thing you're going to do is to click on your content so you're going to go ahead to click on your content and once you click on your content all your videos are going to be loaded okay and then you're going to pick the videos that you actually want to put the end screen and then the cards okay just note that to some persons you might not be able to put cards if your videos is not eight minutes long or you have not verified or you've not gotten to you know if you did not verify your channel sometimes you cannot even upload up to 15 minutes video so try as much as possible to verify so that some of these things can be way more easier for you now i am going to be using this video that is three minutes long okay so for this video that is three minutes long you're going to click on it and this is exactly what you are going to be seeing so you are going to slide to the other side and where you are going to be seeing the end screen and the cart and of course this is exactly what you are seeing here and then you are going to be clicking on end screen if you click on end screen you can also minimize so that you can see all the interface that you are doing so once you click on end screen it is going to pop up like this and you're going to be seeing elements at the top of it or you're going to be seeing a plus button by the side of it so depending on the one you want to do so i usually use the elements 
So if you click on the element, you are going to either click on videos or you want to put your playlist or you want to put your subscriber team or you want to put a linked channel to it. So for me, what I do is I go ahead and click on video, okay? Because if I click on video, YouTube will automatically recommend to you the most recent upload whenever you are watching any of my videos. That's why any of my videos you're watching at the end of the end screen, you notice that YouTube is recommending my most recent upload for you. So now you are going to be able to shift this arrow. You can shift it to any level that you actually want to move it to. And then you're also going to click on elements. So if you click on elements again, you can choose to also put a playlist. So right now, let's go ahead and put a playlist. If you click on playlist, you're going to choose from your playlist which one that you want to put. So let me put all my videos playlist, for example. And then you are also going to shift again. So just feel free. You can actually be able to shift this or navigate this to any level that you want. And then you are going to go ahead and click on elements again. I love clicking on video again because that will also enable YouTube to recommend videos that is best for viewers. That is why I always like it when I'm putting my cards, I'm clicking on the videos twice so that it will bring out what best for viewers and then most recent upload. Very, very important. So you can also navigate this arrow or move this arrow to any level and then go ahead again and then you can put a subscribe button. And you can see that once you put up to four different cards, automatically YouTube make that place blank because you cannot put more than four end screen. Sorry, not cards, end screen. You cannot put more than four end screen. I'm sorry, guys, it's raining right now, but I will finish this video before I will have to stop. So after that, you're going to go ahead and click on what? Save. So this is automatically saved. And then you're going to go ahead and click on your cards as well. Once you click on your cards, you are going to be seeing your videos and playlists and channel that is pop up. You're also going to choose what kind of videos do you want. So for cards, you are the one to choose the particular video that you want for yourself. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this. And you're going to move your cross, your a mouse or anything that is moving you can see that is movable you are going to move it as well and then you're going to click on cards again and then you're going to click on video or even if you want to click on your playlist to choose any particular one that you want so you're also going to be doing this depending on how many that youtube can actually allows you put okay for my own um cards youtube allow me to put five different videos on my cards okay YouTube allow me to put five different videos and I believe it will be the same for most persons. So you can see that right now, I have put what? Five different cards here. So since I put five different cards here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on save as well. And once I'm saved, it is done from this side. Now, if you watch the video from beginning to the end, this particular video from beginning to the end, you're going to be seeing the cards and the end screen. So let's go to the main channel or to this channel and let's go and watch this video of Food the Video, Adele K, blah, blah, blah. And let's see how it plays out. So right now we are on YouTube and then we are going to check the ends and the cards. So this is the video that I put that um, video, which is this beautiful the video of Adele K and family. They are ready, blah, blah, blah. And if you click on more to go and check in the description, you will notice that all of the cards that I've been able to put are these five videos, five different videos you see, which is the playlist and other videos. So you can see that a lot of people can actually be watching this video, click on more, and then go to see all of this video and found another interesting video that they can actually watch and then click to watch that particular video. And then if you forward this to the end part of it, let's go to the end part of this video. You are going to be seeing the cards. So these are the end screen cards that are on the videos. So you can see that the end screen and the cards are things that can actually help your videos be recommended out there. So if you have not been using end screen or you've not been using cards or you don't know how to use them, I hope this video is able to give you the edge of knowing how you can be able to use your end screen and your cards on YouTube. And I hope this video is able to help someone out there. If it does, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't also forget to share for every other person to get this good news. And if you have any video requests that you actually want me to film for you, why not let me know in the comment section. I'll be doing all of that for you.
thank you so much for staying stick and hook with me to the end of this video and yes with no further ado i do i'd like always say in my videos i'm going to be saying bye and i'll see you guys in my next one for now bye i love you guys Mwah.